The journey that God took us on since the summer until now has been like following all these windy bunny trail. It's been in and out of several different hotels and places to stay. And at times we were only in a place for a few nights, uh, one night, and sometimes we were blessed to stay for several weeks at a time. There was one point during this journey when it appeared like it was the end of the road. And I couldn't see a possible way that God could keep his vow to be our home and an endless basket of support for our journey. Yet I believe that God knew what he was doing when he led me on this path and made me this promise because I don't believe that God would give a promise that he couldn't afford to keep. And I trusted that he had gone ahead of us to make a path for us to travel and that he had a detailed way for us to survive. After all, God has been my best friend through all of this, and he has never failed to produce the outcomes that he promised. During all these years before God had taken me to any city or place, he always told me where we would go, and he also speaks to me in many mysterious ways as the deepest love I've ever known. He gives me treasures in my dreams and shows me secret messages so I know what hotel or city we might go to or I know how much money might come in or even sometimes he gives me an idea of where it will come from. So I knew that God had a very carefully planned path to take us on. But it was a challenge in my faith to not get distracted by how impossible looking everything seemed. Logically, nothing made sense, and even though it looked like I was out of options at that time, God was saying otherwise. God kept telling me that he was taking us into luxury and that we would experience a time of indulgence. At that point of time, it almost made me laugh because I was stranded in a huge city with no way to cover anything. And I was just waiting for God to show up to honor his word since he promised it would be a rescue. And I was talking to a dear friend about everything and she said that in times like that, that God always said something to her from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show to indicate there would be a miracle. And to my friend, he would always lovingly say, Look, nothing up my sleeve. Now watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. And something about that really resonated with me. And God confirmed to me that he would pull off a miracle at that time when it looked like it was impossible to survive. Like making a rabbit appear out of thin air. So I started looking for rabbits, or otherwise known as the miracles from God. And God indeed showed up with a miracle, and he delivered support to cover us to go to the next place where he was leading us to through that bunny trail. And from that day onward, God would show me rabbits before a miracle would happen. He showed me two rabbits in the grass of a hotel just before he showed up to surprise us with a stay at the resort hotel. And he showed me rabbits before someone surprised us with a fully paid room at a lovely hotel. He'd show me rabbits before I'd suddenly receive a donation that was enough to cover something big like a hotel or groceries. And it went on from there as miracles continue to appear multiplying like rabbits. The thing is, is God is ever present and he walks with us and talks with us in our present situations. And when your awareness is always looking for God to speak and always looking for miracles, you're going to see that in your life because what you focus on is what emerges in your situation and God loves to touch 
those who will come to him with childlike faith and he will respond to that childlike fascination to see his face and he is like a husband that is so intimately close to us and he'll always speak to us in ways when we are open to trust and believe that he will and does respond another thing is when god promises something will be a certain way or gives a promise of a miracle happening it is always going to look the opposite condition until it suddenly pops out into fruition that's why we must train ourselves to have a mindset of miracles and abundance and not surrender ourselves to the restraints of lack or being bound by the natural world's limitations over and over again it has looked like we would suffer with nothing and not be able to survive but then god would show up with a miracle and change everything in an instant like pulling a rabbit out of a hat it's like being on a roller coaster because one second we're so low and then suddenly god causes us to shoot up into high places with his miracles support and it happens out of nowhere and suddenly when i was going through the time where god used the rabbit to bring us to the room that he promised that would be indulgent it didn't look like we would get through again and i had gone as far as i could there was no way to go any further it appeared as though i was at a dead end with no more streams of support and i had no one left that i could imagine helping us every door was closed i was drowning at the same time with bills and needs and my phone bill at that time was 3 months late and the bill was enormous and god promised to cover it but he also tested my patience by having me wait and wait until the right time i had to trust that he would take care of it and that he would honor his words and it was frustrating to me because normally the company would have suspended my service after only a month but god kept my phone line active for 3 months before that promise showed up so it doesn't always work in our timeline that we expect it to happen So when something doesn't happen, it doesn't mean it's not going to. It means just you got a bigger miracle coming. My prayer was that my phone would not be cut off until I paid that bill. And that's exactly what God did. I had no idea how I was going to have a place to stay, but God promised that he would be my home and that we were connected to an endless river of support. And there was a door I had prayed been praying for God to open and trying to get open for over 2 years with a small business grant. And God surprised me out of nowhere and opened it with just enough to cover my massive phone bill at that time and to extend the place where we were at much longer. We ended up going to this place that was beautiful not seeing a way that we could stay more than 3 days and then god gave miracle provisions for us to stay an extra 2 weeks and we actually ended up staying at that specific place the rabbits kept continuing we stayed there for 2 months straight and it looked impossible to survive but god made it possible and god is able to fulfill his promise and he has unlimited ways to make it happen even when it appears like there's no way to see it can be done and sometimes we just have to close our eyes to the way things look and seem and even feel and just believe that God is going to make everything transition to look like he promised the problem is sometimes we doubt God's power to honor his words And we put our faith in the natural circumstances that look the opposite of what God promised they would be. We lean to our flesh naturally. And so it means stepping out of your comfort zone to lean 
spiritually into the promise of God because it's not going to look possible. It never looks possible. As long as I've been going through these extreme miracles with God, it never looks possible. And if God promises a miracle to change you, to change your life, to change your situation, it is going to look the opposite of what God promised until the miracle arrives. It's like a baby being born, and you cannot see the precious little baby until she comes out of where she is secretly growing and hiding. My lesson from the rabbit is that not to look at how things seem or even how others predict. You have to keep your focus on God. Not be distracted by what other people think. Not let anyone's lack of faith move you out of that place of trust and faith. Look to what God promised and expect that promise to emerge exactly when you need it the most. God's promises are like rabbits that hide in tunnels under the ground. And you may not be able to see them, but they are there. There are millions, billions of them. They're all over. So many hidden treasures from God and hidden places of wealth and promises that will arrive just at the right time. They will emerge out of the blue and change the way that everything looks for you. So you cannot go by how things look in your situation and you cannot try to tally it all up in your mind and try to crunch the numbers. If you are believing for a financial miracle from God, don't look at your budget. Don't look at what you have coming in. Look at God. Look at His power and open your eyes to see a miracle because one thing about seeing financial miracles from God is you have to believe that it can happen. That's the first step to seeing a miracle is believing that it can happen. And timing is also part of the miracle. And I'm very thankful it is. When it looks like everything is against what God promised and things are contradictory to what he said they would be, then just celebrate. Because all that opposition and all that opposite-looking conditions just means that you're about to see miracles show up from God, like rabbits emerging out of nowhere, and it's going to look impossible until God makes it possible. And that's how a miracle looks.